Hi everyone, welcome back for another opening. So by now, most of you who have been watching the channel will know that I am a huge, huge Nikkei fan. So even though I haven't been able to get Union Arena boxes from my distributor, uh, I know no matter what, I have to get this set. Unfortunately, I could only get four booster box and one starter deck. I would have loved to get more booster boxes, even a carton if I can, but uh, that is really very hard. Uh, and with how popular this set is, so definitely I didn't have any chance at all uh, getting any more than what I have today. So anyway, this is the starter deck. Uh, this is actually a very interesting packaging. I have never uh, known uh, the starter deck to be packaged like that. But then again, like I say, I haven't been opening Union Arena for a while, so I have no idea how things are like. I know for the last couple of sets at least, uh, there are signed cards, so that's a good sign. The only problem I had when Union Arena first came out was, uh, you know, they actually didn't include signed cards. So with them uh, actually uh, including sign cards, I think this is a definitely a good start for them to compete, uh, you know, with White Swords, River for You, and all that. And not only that, in the last couple of sets, uh, there has also been hand signature as well. So, uh, definitely, that is a very, very good way uh, for Bandai to be competitive with Bushi Road. Ooh, look at the four. This is our first SR. Uh, from what I know, uh, the trial decks do suppose to have, yep. And this one of Rappi, very nice. So we do have four different kinds uh, of, no, sorry, two different kinds of foil for uh, SR in the starter deck. Look at this of our three iconic characters, Anis, uh, Rappi, and Neon. Shifty, like I said, I am a huge, huge Nikkei fan. I really enjoy the mobile game a lot. Like I said, I think this is one of the more fun and exciting mobile games I have played in recent years. So very happy that we finally got a Nikkei set to drop. Even though it dropped in Union Arena, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Just as long as we get Nikkei in whatever TCG I think is going to do well. And we have our AP cards. Unfortunately, it's non foil uh, But yeah, look at Little over there. Very nice. Uh, we do have a promo pack over here. So I'm not sure if this is fixed or anything. So just going to open this very carefully. Is it foil or anything or is this just like normal rarity? I guess I'll find out. Yep, seems like it's not foil. Oh, Scarlet. Snow White. Santi. Ooh, and we do get a foil. Look at that. R plus of Alice. I have to sleeve her up for sure. And the very nice, the manufacturer uh, is in foil stamp. Wow, this is a very lovely card. So for this set actually, from what I know, uh, let me see if they do the breakdown at the side. You know that it used to be at the side, right? Ah, there we go. So this is the set breakdown, but of course all the parallels are not listed here. The only complaint I have about Bandai is they still don't actually do the plastic seal for the boxes. So it's very easy, you know, because I know that every box there are a fixed ratio of hits. So it's always very easy for people to be able to uh, swap out packs when it's sealed like that. But it's okay. Uh, just as long as you get it from a reputable source, I don't think it's so much of an issue. So anyway, for this set, there are 12 different kinds of signature. And that is all in the two star and above rarity uh, from what i've seen i think that the signatures are only one per case so just as long as we can pull a signature today i don't care whoever it is oh our first sr of scarlet very nice like i said i don't care who it is we will be very i will be very very happy we can just walk away with a signature today uh, regardless of who it is but if you ask me i want a signature of moderna i want a signature of rapunzel and of course the holy grail for this set has to be the red hood hand signature so apparently i heard that for the hand signature there's only 50 uh, 50 hand signature so it's going to be incredibly rare to pull i mean to even get a signature is one per case so in the case there are 12 boxes so to get a signature even it is going to be really really very difficult one out of 12 boxes and i have four boxes today like i said i really wish i could have gotten a carton but uh, this set is really very hard to get and my normal distributor uh, has stopped bringing Union Arena so it's really very hard for me to get the boxes unfortunately so just as long as we can walk away with a signature today I would be so so happy and as uh, you guys know 
basically, ooh, you only get one parallel. The SR foil looks brilliant. Look at this of neon. Uh, like I said, uh, you only get one parallel foil per box. So out of the four boxes we have today, uh, you only can get four parallel foils. So really, really hoping for the best. But I mean, the odds are really against us. And for those of you who watch uh, my openings, you know that normally set that I'm super, super hyped up about. I usually do very, very poorly on those. And that is why I'm so worried about today's opening. Okay, I mean, we have some very interesting artwork over here. Of course, we have all different iconic characters. So this is our first parallel. Unfortunately, it's not a signature. It's only a C plus. So, hey, <laughs> I mean, we take who we can get. So, of course, I got to skip the parallel. So, we first had the parallel of Alice. Uh, this is a parallel of Diesel. Okay, moving along. So, I mean, unless they are very generous and they change the odds uh, from what I used to know. Uh, basically, we can expect 4 SR per box and 1 parallel foil. So, so far, we have 2 SR, very parallel foil. So, we should be getting 2 more uh, SR from this box. If let's say nothing changes. Ooh, Drake. Drake as a rare. And I think that for Union Arena, I mean, we have skipped multiple sets already, like I said, because my distributor cannot uh, get the boxes in. But so far, the foils for Union Arena, look at that. Look at Anis. The foils are just so, so insane. So I think that Union Arena has really upped the game. If you ask me, Bushy Road now has a very strong competitor. I have seen the tournaments in store. The support for Union Arena has been so, so much better than uh, Bushy Road lately. So, yeah, I think Bushy Road should be worried. I think they've got, gotten quite complacent lately. So if, let's say, uh, they want to retain their player base, they better uh, put out some fire in the future sets because, man, looking at this set, I say that Bushy Road has a very, very strong contender. Uni Arena looks good. I really, really uh, wish my distributor is able to get more of this Union Arena in, like I said. Ooh, look at that. Lapras. Very beautiful SR. So we got four SR already. I think the other packs are nothing. So it's a shame that my distributor can't get me the Union Arena boxes. I really would have loved if we could open a carton of Nikkei. Man, this is my most favorite series right now. I mean, I do enjoy Azulane as well, but I do not know. Both of them are mobile games that I really are the only mobile game I play right now. So both of them have a very special place in my heart. And just like that, we are already done with one box. So it seems like the ratio didn't change. Uh, I do know that uh, if you happen to be lucky, the uh, four AP cards can be just randomly inserted. So anyway, moving along, we have our box number two. Only four boxes to go through today. So unfortunately, not a lot to work with. But let's just see. For Union Arena, the only thing I have to say is the, their base rarity uh, are actually quite uh, plain looking. But their foils, man, they really, really hit it out of the parks with the foils. The foils are just so insane. Okay. Box number two, let's go. And of course we have our Nikkei in their shooting pose, so we only get to see their back view. Uh, interesting choice to use that as the artwork on the card. Ooh, Rapando. Very nice. I love all these uh, SR cards. The texture on them is really, really insane. Like I said, if I could get a signed card of Rapando, that would be so, so crazy. Maxwell. Maxwell has a normal R. Eunice, Backview, Snow White, Helm, Moderna, and Noir. I believe that every character should have a SR version. So that would be really very nice. I think every character deserves some love. And look at this SR. Wow. Isn't this Snow White? I mean, you can't really see because she is like full. Uh, like the full equipment is on. But man, she looks amazing. The SR looks amazing. It's such a shame we only get one parallel. Oh, look at this neon. I think we put neon already, right? But I mean, it's such a shame that we only get one parallel of a box because this really, really looks amazing. All the foils look amazing. I just. Oh, wow. 
So we got a ah star of Drake. Look at that crazy texture foiling. Have to sleeve this. But that means our box too is also gone. We didn't get a signature. But I say if we could just get a signature today, I don't care who, which Nikkei we get, just anyone signature, I would be so so happy. But like I said, uh, seems like the signatures are one per carton. I'm not sure, it might not even be one per carton, so that is going to be so, so rare. Uh, but if you guys do know the actual odds, do let me know. But that's what I heard, that the signature are one per carton. So that's why uh, getting like any today would be a challenge, but we can always hope. Like I said, uh, sets that usually I am so much invested in. Oh, look at Litter. Little and bold. Very nice card. Uh, set that I'm really, really very invested in. Yeah, usually I don't do that well in it. I remember my worst was probably like 7 Daily Sins where I bought like 12 boxes out of a fresh case. Didn't get a single SP. I mean that time I really wanted the Elizabeth signature. But since then of course we have seen so many other great and iconic series. So if you ask me now, Nikkei is probably going to be my favorite set for this year. Uh, I'm not sure whether we will even like you know get to see any uh, greater sets, but yeah, we can always hope. Look at that, very nice. I like how they included so many of the iconic characters. Back view, biscuit even. Nikkei is definitely my favorite set so far. Uh, for the year. Wow, look at this SR of Anis. I think we pulled her before, but every time I pull her again, the card just looks so amazing. Okay, but one thing I can tell you for sure is it's guaranteed that it's 4 SR per box. 4 SR and 1 parallel foil. So, knowing my luck, probably, you know, getting a signed card won't be possible today. But still, I am just so happy to open all these wonderful Nikkei cards. That is Viper. And now, with Viper, we are moving on to box 3. I'm not sure where is the cut off. I mean, uh, currently, as I'm doing this opening, we are having the ReZero collab event. Uh, in fact, on Thursday, we will be getting Rem uh, dropping banner. We already have Amelia on the banner. Uh, I did manage to pull her, although it took me like 80 pulls to get a single copy of her. And of course, before uh, Amelia, we had like a D. So I'm not sure where is the cut off for characters. Uh, but it does seem like we have quite a, a many of the characters over here. I haven't even seen our. Uh... Did we see Nellisner? Ooh, Moderna SR. Look at that. Have you seen Nellisner? I don't think I've seen Nellisner. I mean definitely Red Hood is in. Like I said, I don't know where is the cut off. Uh, we did get Red Hood during the anniversary event, right? Come on, can we get some fire today? Nikkei, I mean, those of you who know, I have been so hyped up with Nikkei. All my merch openings you have seen is either Nikkei, Azalin, so... Yeah, I really wish I could have gotten a carton for this set. SR Lapras. Or at least let me get, you know, every single type of SR. I think that would be so nice uh, when we put them all together in a binder. That is the Lapras. Uh, of course, the whole body view. Okay, our alternate. This is Maxwell, right? Very nice. I like it. The texture is really very nice, but unfortunately, it is not a signature. I only have one box left, guys. <laughs> I am feeling all the hope just disappear. Uh, well, at the very least, I think I will try to pick up a copy of Rapunzel. Uh, she is my favorite uh, Nikkei that helped me to carry a lot of the content because her skill actually can revive a fallen team member. And she uh, also heals when her skill activates, so... Definitely it helps me to get through a lot of the content. That's why uh, she holds a very special place in my heart. Apart from that, Moderna is also another character that helped to carry me through a lot of the story content. And that is why these two characters are just so iconic to me. And if it's any 
signature that uh, I want it is either of Modena or Rapunzel because both of them are just just so insane characters that can carry you through the difficult content. Okay, we can see a spec has I believe, but unfortunately, it seems like the four AP cards are also very rare because yeah, I've never even seen a single one of those. Um, maybe even as rare as I don't know. Oh, look at that! Alice SR, that's new, right? I mean, it, could the four APs even be as rare as a uh, two star? <laughs> Don't even get me started on how rare a 3 star is. Maybe 1 per master case? No, I don't even think it's I think going to be much rarer than 1 per master case or something. Yeah. But. Oh, look at this SR of Dorothy. I almost forgot Dorothy is also part of my core team. Man, I'm really, really liking this voice we get today. Looks like I need to shell out some money to get the signatures. Eunice to end it off and now we go into our final box okay open this get our packs out box number four I really really wish I could afford a carton and not only just being able to afford a carton I really wish that I had the opportunity to buy a carton because this Nikkei set is really really amazing So we are looking for 4 SR and 1 parallel foils per box. And with the signature being 1 per case, 1 out of 12 box. Noah over there. I mean many of the pilgrims happen to be really powerful and because of that they are like a core part of my team. So yeah, Lapras. Oh look at this. The artwork actually is pretty amazing even though the all these are non-foil. Look at Rappi over here, looking very good. You know it's just a basic R foil. Then the back view of the characters they are shooting. Scarlet, both front and back we got. Oh and we even have um, Noir. Even the arena screen. Dorothy. Dorothy as the R. Leonis. So far we only have one SR from this box, right? Helm. Ooh, Scarlet SR. Look at that. Dang, she is pretty. Blank. That is Isabel. Come on, anyone has a signature, I would be so, so, so happy. And unfortunately, it's not. But we did get Noah uh, Pilgrim Parallel. So, there, with this card, there goes my hope of a signature. <sighs> Man, I am so, so crushed right now. Like, you know, you guys know Nikkei is a set that I really, really, a series that I really, really enjoy. And I said at the start of this opening, uh, usually series that I really enjoy, I'm very worried because usually I don't do very well for this. And yeah, uh, so it is. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a signature sign card today. Uh, looks like I will have to pick up. Uh, Moderna is very expensive. The three star version, I believe, is like around 1.5k. Uh, the two star version is cheaper, but it's still really very pricey. So. Unfortunately, I think I would have to uh, just settle for Rapunzel. Uh, Rapunzel is at a lot more reasonable price, but since I don't do very well for this opening, I guess that is what I could do the next best thing. Uh, look out for a cheap Rapunzel and Moderna in the secondary market. And of course, we don't even want to talk about the Red Hood hand sign. Uh, so far, I have seen multiple copies of the hand signatures sold for like over $10,000 and we know that is so so incredibly rare. So if you happen to manage to get some boxes, I wish you all the best. If you happen to pull that, it's like as though you won the lottery. But yeah, 
So this is our opening. Let's look at our SR cards again. I think the SR card is really really look awesome. Alice, Scarlet, Lapras, Dorothy, Alice again, Neon, Lapras, Modena, uh, Anis, uh, Little, Neon, Snow White, Rapunzel, Lapras again, Anis, Neon, and Scarlet. And of course for our parallel foils, we have Noah from Pilgrim Manufacturer. Uh, Maxwell, Miss Alice, Drake from Miss Alice as well, Diesel from Allison, and Alice uh, from Tetra. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. I for one think that Union Arena has really knocked it out of the park with how fantastic looking this voice look. Uh, if you happen to get any boxes, I wish you all the best in your opening. Like I said, the uh, hand sign uh, red hood card is worth well over $10,000. So if you happen to pull that, yeah really fantastic or even to get a signature is incredibly rare so hopefully you can get one of those because i didn't manage to get any in our boxes today but if you like this kind of opening do consider subscribing to the channel because we open all the new stuff for white source rebirth for you build device and the best way to see them first is through a subscription remember to turn on all notifications and we will see you all next time bye now